So now let's have a look at how we can use Laravel's soft deleting functionality in Orion itself. And it's actually ridiculously simple, as most things are with Orion. If we go to api.php, we can simply add on here with soft delete. That's it. Now we have soft deleting functionality on our post controller. Here's how it works. And I think you'll find it very, very similar to what I just showed you in Laravel Tinker. So we'll open up Postman. We'll go to delete. And actually, let's go index first so we can find a record. And let's delete this record with an ID of 554. So we'll go back to delete. We'll go 554 there. Send that through. And now it has been deleted. And just to prove that, if I copy this record with an ID of 554, and we try and read it, it's going to give us no query results, which is exactly what we would expect. Now come back to the database, and if we refresh it here, where is it? Notice that we still have 554, but it has been soft deleted. So basically, Laravel Orion is going, hey, I've noticed that you've told me to use soft deletes, therefore, I'm just going to set that deleted record for you. Now, what if we want to restore that record? Well, we now have a new API endpoint here. And we're going to call that restore. And I'm just going to steal a bit of code from read. So let's just copy that. And then all we have to do is say slash restore. And that's the endpoint to restore a record that's been deleted. So let me come back to the database again. The post with an ID of 554 is deleted. But if I come back to Postman, run that request. Oh, it can't be a get request. This has to be a post request. Let's run it again. And now if we go back to the database, refresh it, it has now been set to empty. So the exact same functionality that I showed you with Tinker, we can now use using Laravel Orion. But what about those hard deletes and those soft deletes? Well, we can do that as well. So let's go ahead and try and hard delete the post with an ID of 554. We'll come back to Postman and we'll go to the delete request here. And I can add a query string that basically says force. So force deleting this and set that to true. So we'll send that through. And now the post with an ID of 554 should not be in the database anymore because it's been force deleted. There it is there, I'll refresh it. Whoops. Control R to refresh, and now it no longer shows up in the database. So it's exactly what you would expect. It's really basic API stuff here, which is exactly what we want. Now, what about with trashed and only trashed? Well, if we come back here to, let's go to, oh, what's the best way to do this? Maybe index. I'm going to run that request again, and we'll delete the first two, the one that's 555 and 556. So we'll go to delete, and I'm going to delete 555 and 556. Five, and there we go. So now, now let's go back to index. And this time I'm going to add a query string that's equal to with trashed. Very similar to the API I showed you in Tinker. Send that through. And now let's see if those show up. Here it is here, 555 five, five, and 556. Five, five, they show up when we call with trashed. But if we don't, and run that again, Notice that those records are no longer showing up. Now, what about only trash? This could be particularly useful for admins if they just want to clear up some data, running out of storage, or that's probably a bad example, but maybe for some reason they just want to see the ones that have been deleted. We can say only trashed. Oh, let me get rid of that plus sign there and run this request. And there we go. We're only going to get the records that have been soft deleted. So that's it. That's how we can use soft deletes using Laravel Orion. And by the way, those with trashed and only trashed uh, query parameters that I showed you there, they work with index, they work with show, or another word for that is read, and they also work for search. So if you need to search through trash data, you can do that as well. And they work with related resources which we'll explore in a later video. So for example, if you're going posts and then comments, so you're, you're getting all of the comments for a post, all of this soft delete stuff, 
you can do that for related endpoints as well. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. That's how you do soft deletes. Hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video.